Welcome to this video about how to create a specific configuration using the BIM model of ABB medium voltage switch gears in the Autodesk Revit software. First, you need to download the item from the ABB library, accessible at library.abb.com. In the search bar, type Building Information Model to discover 3D models, and add MV to find the medium voltage selection. For this video, we've selected Unigear ZS1. Click on the download icon. ABB 3D models are also available on third-party websites, such as BIMObject.com. On their website, search ABB Medium Voltage, for example, to get MV switchgear models. Back to Revit. From the home page, create a new blank project by clicking on New Under Models. In the pop-up window, Select Project and click on OK. From the project interface, you can also click on New and Project. To insert the switchgear into the newly created project or to add it to an existing project, select Insert from the top ribbon. Click on Load Family and choose the file you wish to open from your computer. In our case, the Unigear ZS1. If the model was created in a previous version of Autodesk, it will automatically be updated and optimized to work with your current version of Autodesk. After uploading the switchgear, open the tree in the left section. Click on Families and Electrical Equipment. Then drag and drop the element into the center of your workspace and click to add it. Before building the complete switchgear, let's start configuring our first unit in 3D View. To do so, click on View in the top ribbon and 3D View. To help you edit your model in Revit, you can easily adjust the level of detail and texture applied to your 3D model. We recommend using Fine and Shaded when editing the file. To help you work around the cubicle, the clearance box can be switched on and off. The switchgear model can also display the electrical symbol on top of it. To read it, click on the top view. This symbol represents the electrical part of the panel. Depending on the panel type, the symbol will change accordingly. If the drawing doesn't show properly, click on Thin Lines in the View section. From the top view, panel characteristics are readable at the front of the cubicle. This information is particularly useful when connecting several panels to a switchgear. You can immediately compare the ratings and check the compatibility between panels. Thanks to ABB BIM switchgear structure, you can deeply configure each cubicle depending on your project needs. Within the Properties window, you can set the panel type with different electrical selections, such as rated voltage and current. The mechanical configuration can be modified as well, with the panel dimension, the low voltage compartment, or even the gas duct and side covers. In the Properties section, many details can be added manually to the object so that the Revit file contains all the information about the project, the product information, the customer, or the building. The Configurator system includes an error-proof system that warns you if a wrong configuration is detected. In this case, a generic warning will appear at the top of the panel and a brief description will appear under it, on the compartment door. In this example, the bus bar rated current and the cubicle width are the cause. Modify them accordingly to resolve the issue. The BIM of this panel includes the connection cables, presented by the three blue dots in the lower compartment. This information can help you measure the cable length from the medium voltage endpoint in your building to the switchgear connectors. For a more precise measurement, the Properties section can give you the exact length of the cable needed inside the cubicle from the bottom to the connector. Finally, when configuring the panel, you can choose to remove the ABB brand depending on your project need. For more information about the switchgear used, a direct link to the ABB product webpage is available in the Data section of the Properties.
To create a complete switch gear, we recommend to fully configure one panel first before working on the whole lineup. Once done, remove the left and right covers, then copy and paste the panel as many times as needed. From here, select a panel type and adjust the electrical and mechanical selections for each of them. The final step is the panel's alignment. Select the Alignment tool under the Modify tab and start by clicking on the right side of your first panel. This first click marks the destination of your second panel. Then click on the left side of the second panel to align it with the first one. Repeat the operation to fully assemble the switchgear. To lock the assembly and avoid moving a panel, select all the elements and click on the pin icon. At this step, reactivate the left and right side covers of the two side panels to finish the assembly. Your switchgear is now ready to be integrated into your building.